Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn about VSEM Alternate Index. So this is the agenda. First, we'll learn about alter command, then repro command, followed by list get, alternate index path, and how to build an index. So we'll start with alter command. Alter command is used to modify a VSEM file attributes. We can change the attributes of a vSEM file which we have mentioned in the vSEM cluster definition. Suppose you have defined one vSEM cluster and now you want to change it. Suppose you want to increase the size or you want to rename this. So this can be done using the alter command. So it uses the same idcamps utility. You need to mention the alter command then the field you want to change in the main cluster. Then next is repro command. Repro command is used to load data into a vSEM data set. It is used to copy data from one vSEM data set to another as well as it is used to copy data from a normal physical sequential file to a vSEM data set. So IDCAMS utility uses repro command to load the data sets. Now next is listcat command. Listcat command is used to get the catalog details of a vSEM data set. If you want to know the details about your vSEM data set then you can use the listcat command and it provides the following information like it provides SMS information, RLS information, like the volume information, sphere information, allocation information and data set attributes. So all these information will be present once you do a list get on a vSEM file. Then we have an alternate index. Alternate index are the additional index that are created for KSDS data sets in addition to their primary index. Suppose you have a primary index and now you want to declare one more alternate index. So that can be done using alternate index command and alternate index provides access to records by using more than one key. So you can declare more than one key and it's not necessary like all the keys should be unique. You can use a non-unique key as well. So then you need to define the path. Define path is used to relate the alternate index to the base cluster. So while defining the path, we specify name of the path and the alternate index to this path is related. So then we need to define a path between the alternate index and the main cluster. Then next is build index. Now you need to build the index. So build index command is used to build the alternate index. Build index reads all the records in the vSEM index dataset or the base cluster and extracts the data needed to build the alternate index. Now let's see all these functions practically. We will start with alter command. Alter command is used to modify vSEM file attributes. We can change the attributes of vSEM file which we have mentioned in the vSEM cluster definition. So here you can see we have one v KSDS file and the name of KSDS file is KSD1 and we have a data component as well as an index component. Now we will be changing the cluster name using alter command. This is the JCL which I have created for this one. So here what I am doing is the syntax is alter and it is using the same idcamps utility and alter tutorial.point.ksd1 and the new name should be new name and the new name should be tutorial.ksd1.rename. So when I will submit this job the name of the cluster will be changed. So here we can write add volume or we can add the buffer space or we can change the other parameters as well. So first we'll see how to rename it. So I'm submitting this. So you can see max is 0. It's success. Now we'll go and check. So do a refresh now. As you can see here name is still the old one. Once we'll refresh the new name will reflect. So here you can see tutorial.point.ksd1 tutorial.ksd1.rename So this is the vSEM and here you can see this tutorial.point.ksd1.data and dot index. So the tutorial.point.ksd1 was renamed to tutorial.ksd1.rename So now we will see repro command we have seen this earlier which is used to copy data from one file to another file. So now we will submit the job once again. In the previous videos I have used this. So here what I am doing is I am copying data from 
input one file to output this file so here I'm changing the name because we have just renamed it so I will be putting ksd1 dot rename because just now we changed it so we have discussed this earlier repro here we are giving input file name and here we are giving output file name so when I will submit this uh, all the data present in this input one will be copied to the new ksds file or any vsim file so we'll submit this here you can see max is zero it's success and the data has been loaded to the ksds1 file now next is alternate index we have discussed this earlier in the theory part alternate index are the additional index that are created for ksds or esds data sets in addition to the primary index and alternate index provide access to records by using more than one key the key of alternate index can be non-unique key or it can have duplicates as well so there are three steps the first step is to define an alternate index second is to define the path and the third is to build the index now first of all we'll define the alternate index so before that what I will do is I will first create one ksds file with a normal index here I will create kxds I just renamed it I will submit this its max is 0 so we will open another window Here you can see ksds dot data dot index and this is one ksds. So we have got three files. It's a vsim file. Now what we'll do is we'll now create one alternate index which will be related to this ksds file. Here the syntax is first you need to write define aix. Aix is alternate index. Then you need to give the name of alternate index. So this is kix and then you need to relate it to the vsim file here I am relating this to tutorial.point.ksds and you need to specify the keys, records, non-unique key, upgrade, record size and all the other parameters similarly like we give for ksds we need to give for aix as well you need to mention the aix data and aix index name so you can choose any name here Unique key specifies that the alternate key is unique and non-unique key specify that duplicate may exist. Here I have given non-unique key so it means duplicate may exist. Then I have given upgrade. So upgrade specifies that the alternate index should be modified if the base cluster is modified. And no upgrade specifies that the alternate index should be left alone in the base cluster if the base cluster is modified. So now we will submit this job. Once we submit this, one alternate index will be created. Max is 0, it's success. I'm pressing F9. We'll refresh this. Here, as of now, you cannot see any AIX. So once I refresh, you can see one AIX as well. Okay, so this is AIX. This one we just now created tutorial.point.kaix, kaix data, kaix index. Here it's AIX, it's uh, alternate index. Here it's a vsim1. Now we need to define the path for this one. So define path is used to relate the alternate index to the base cluster. While defining path, we must specify the name of path and alternate index to which this path is related. So we'll, uh, we'll create one path. This is the JCL. Here you just need to specify the path name. Here the path name is tutorial.point.kix.path and here you need to specify the ksds file like to which file we are linking this. I need to give here aix because we are linking we are defining path for alternate index. So I will submit this. 
and you need to give here path entry. Here you can see max is 0. I will do a refresh here. Here you can see path. So this path we have just now declared tutorial.point.kiax.path. Now we have one vsem file, we have one alternate index as well we have one path. So the next step is we need to build it. Build index command is used to build the alternate index. So we'll see the JCL of this one. This is the JCL build index. Here what you need to do is you need to define the first the parameter this be build index is the key which is used to build the index then you need to give the in data set and then you need to give the out data set in in data set you need to mention the name of vsem file and in out data set you need to mention the name of alternate index build index reads all the records in vsem index data set or the base cluster and extracts the data needed to build the alternate index. If I submit this, it will give me a ban. The reason, because I have not filled any data, so it will throw an error saying the file cannot be opened. As you know, if an KSDS file is empty, it will not allow me to open. So I will submit this and to show you like what is the error. If you put some data inside this, and if you build it at that time, you will not face any error. Here it's maxis 12, we'll go to spool and check. Here you see error opening tutorial.point.ksds vsem open return code is 160 function is terminated. So this means like the file was empty so the, purpur, the purpose of building index is to read all the records in vsem index data set and then extract the data needed to build the alternate index that's the reason it failed. So give it a try put some, put some data inside it and then submit it. So this is all about vsem files. We have covered the different type of vsem files like ESDS, KSDS, RRDS and LDS. And we have seen the basic commands like uh, repro, alter and listcat. And we have seen how to use them, how to use a vsem file in COBOL program. Keep on learning. Good luck.